Hello, this is Zar from Open Source Channel, and welcome for another episode on how to. This is uh, where I'm going to show you how to install uh, open source applications on your server. Thanks to every single subscriber that have subscribed to my channel, and thanks for liking all the videos. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter. And on blogger and pretty soon and this is the reason why it took me two weeks to do another video you can going to follow me on a new website and this is the new website I've been working on as you can see there's a lot of things gonna be changed soon anyway that's gonna be to Twitter YouTube here again YouTube here this is gonna be the place where I'm going to uh, put banners of people who or companies going to help me touch meet who have provided me the Camtasia studio and Z panel is because I support them a lot and today I'm going to use Z panel CP for the uh, for this tutorial and this is one of the banners anyway anyway I just wanted to show you what I'm working on let's close this and let's start to to go on the Joe's project exactly Joe's project it's a very nice little project nice application that's very user friendly easy to use and today I'm going to show you how to install it I'm going to click on download as usual I'm going to click on Joe's complete and I'm going to save the file Is about five make right click open the containing folder now we're going to close that I minimize this and I'm going to extract the content on my uh, desktop click on this one here make it a folder a temporary folder I'm going to call it temp double click and I'm going to extract the content while is extracting I'm going to, to minimize this for a second actually tell you what let me close this and well, I'm going to delete this because I don't need it anymore and I'm going to double click on my FileZilla that's the FTP program I'm using and I'm going to log into my server Here is the domain I'm going to use, AG server. Although this is the actual domain of the server. I'm going to close this one and I'm going to drag and drop the files inside. I'm going to pause the video for a second then I'll resume as soon as possible all right so that has been uploaded right it's been uploaded to the server I'm going to close this and I'm going to leave it on for a second now I want to make sure that everything's fine go back to my browser and here where I'm going to install as I said I'm going to refresh the page and as you can see here is the introduction of the installation of the apps I'm going to click on the log the process with errors just in case 
international English is the only language, but I'm sure you can download uh, languages, gadgets, themes, and all that stuff. So back again, click on next. Now The program is asking me to create a file key.txt and upload it inside the install folder so I minimize on my desktop I right click new text document and I'm going to call it key then I'll double click I paste the line, save it, close it, go inside the install folder and drag and drop. Job done. Let's go back. I'm going to click enable secure installation and I click next. So just unclick that, click next. So it's going to be localhost, MySQL, and let's go to the panel and let's start to create the database and the user. So I'm going to click database, MySQL database, and I'm going to call it Joe's. I'm very sorry about my pronunciation. I'm not British, I'm not American, so. You know, I know I, I've been a long time in the United Kingdom, but uh, still my friends is pretty hard to understand. But anyway, click on create. Then I click again on database and on MySQL user. And I'm going to call again Joe's. I select the database and I make sure it's allow from any IP. I could do it from single, but I'm going to call it from any IP. Create. Here we got the username, and here we got the password. Of course, is being um, mapped to the database, as you can see here. Yeah. Now, once we got all these details, we go here, and your username is Joe's. Yeah. password I'm going to paste it database now if you don't remember it's very simple just click on database MySQL database and as usual Z panel put Z admin in front of it I'm going to uh, copy and I'm going to paste it here now for the rest I'm going to leave it as it is and I click next here we go. Uh, now we're going to put the username in. That's the name and logins, you know, that you're going to use to log in. So I'm going to use admin as a username. I'm going to put the password. I'll use the admin as well as password. As you know, after this, I'm going to delete it just because this is a demonstration on how to install it. I'm going to leave it. Joe's administrator as race and I'm going to change this to let's say EG server then I click the next site name let's call my Joe's site I'm going to install some gadgets and some sample data just to start off. Then I press next. Now I'm going to copy this just to make sure. But what I want to do, I want to change the uh, permission of this folder. So I go back. Now you can do it manually or you can do it automatically. I'm going to do it automatically first, see how it works. So I'm going to double click on this, config, right click, 
file permissions and I'm going to do 777 click OK come back here and press next job done I middle click that so I can open a new one this is what it looks like the front and let's go to the login for the administration and I'm going to create on this and I'm going to add my password I'm going to click remember me and here we go here we got the non installed gadget just let you see it's very simple to install it just click on install and automatically installs it for you you can install everything if you want to it's a very very simple uh, let's call it CMS content management system now as you can see here this is the layout of the site if I go to the layout it's quite amazing the way you could do it at the moment there's only one uh, template and trust me it's so simple to make a template this is the menu let's say I want to put in the menu here on top and I want the emblems on the top here when I go back to the website uh, let's see here and I refresh boom emblems on top menu here back again I'm going to put the emblems here on the top and my menu on the top here back it nothing to save as you can see just refresh and there we go the menus appear the emblems rather than down here that appear I hope you enjoyed the website uh, sorry the tutorial <laughs> again I messed it up here um, don't forget to again to visit me on blogger or the new website pretty soon Twitter and don't forget to share and like all the pages although some pages you cannot comment yet uh, I think the latest ones all, all, all you know all these ones uh, I think starting from Runcube let me see yes from Runcube I saw it through the crow's eyes again sorry about this and as you can see here I'm starting answering all the questions that people have uh, I hope to build a nice community uh, after I start with the you know the new website so I can answer more questions and help more people to install their free software you know on their website thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time and hopefully next time is going to be the presentation of the website and then I'm going to do another tutorials there are plenty of CMS blogger and had application to show you and if you have any you know anything you want to say or say you want a, an application to be you know shown how to install it just you know send me a message via YouTube or just put a comment somewhere you know I don't mind thanks again and I'll see you next time take care